quickly, quickly on to our first trending story of the day. It was trending over the weekend. A mofa hush puppy stubbornness led to his downfall. This was a uh, hush puppy was on a live with um, Daddy Freeze, who was saying that I think Daddy Freeze just wanted to protect himself, so he came out to just talk about the, his visits to Dubai with Hush Puppy. It's not like they indicted him on anything, but I don't know why he did that. But then of course, he called Mofa to the life and said that it was because Hush Puppy was very stubborn. That's why he was picked up. And I just feel on a very good day, Mofa is supposed to be there too, in prison right now. But because he was lucky to get, <laughs> it happened in Nigeria, if it was abroad, he probably would have been picked up, mm. you know? <sighs> what can I say about this situation? Um, there's not much to be said here because I mean, when you say someone um, was stubborn, I, we don't know what must have transpired in their conversation, what made Hush Puppy stubborn, uh, what did he not listen to, what advice mm -hmm. did you give that he, you know, so it's, it's still shrouded in a bit of uh, uh, secrecy, what the, what the things that he's talking about are. But be that as it may, um, right now, that all, are, all of that is inconsequential. This man mm. has been uh, fingered for all sorts of uh, corrupt uh, corruption practices, you know, illegal money transfers, illegal money wires, and all of that. And he's going to have to face trial. They say mm. he's looking at 20 years. He has completely confessed and, of course, uh, pleaded guilty to most of the charges that were dropped, uh, years, levied against him. So he's prison. more likely looking at 20 years, maybe with the possibility of early parole. You never know. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's the other case which you're going to talk about that, that that's mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. um, interesting and revealing because... You know, we live in a society where everyone worships money. Everyone. So when you meet somebody who tries to be distinct in his functions as a police officer, you want to applaud that person only for you to find out much later that this person also has it's got also his hands dirty, dirty. In, yes. in, in, in all of this. But you get there. So all right. Don't so I mean, Steve, this is what he said. He says, of course, he's very stubborn. does listen to people. Uh, this life, if something happens to someone, you're supposed to think of the next line of action. So apparently, maybe looking at what Mufa, when Mufa was picked up at the time, and maybe his display, excessive display of wealth on Instagram, he could have been a bit chilled. And I mean, that's his own opinion. But at the end of the day, it's because he was not picked. That's what I think. If he was picked, picked up by the FBI too, I don't think he will say this. But anyways, we'll, we'll keep following the story. And uh, let's move on to the next trending story. Abba Kiari has been suspended. Mm. What I thought was that they were going to issue a statement saying that he's a super cop. That's what I thought they were going to do, honestly. And that, that you know, he's been doing good things and they're not going to drop him. But apparently, since there's a lot going on and they're getting heat from above. So he has been suspended. Listen, um, you cannot, long, we, do not we, we cannot continue to. Well, now, without, this is not saying that he's guilty because there's still a lot of investigation mm -hmm. ongoing. But we need, to, we need to create a society of values. When I mean society of values, I mean society that people are held accountable. This morning I went on, mm -hmm. on my show on the radio, I talked about accountability for public officers, public pu officers who have been found to either, you know, be involved in something shady or a lackluster performance in their duty. Now, Abba Kiari is one who has been fingered, like I said, in a you know, corruption charged by the FBI, the uh, Federal Bureau of Investigation in America. Now, the Police Service Commission have done the right thing mm -hmm. to suspend him. He was, he's not fired. Suspension means step aside, let us investigate so that you don't tamper with any investigation, any investigation. going on. And which is the right thing to do. So people have to be held accountable. It's the right thing to do by the Police Service Commission. It's the right thing to do by the IGP. It's my utmost prayer that this is just going to go away in terms of him not being guilty. But I really doubt that because we know the FBI, they're not God anyway. They're not God. They they, you mistakes, know, I saw this story on, but, Washington, but, on Washington Post. Yeah. And when I saw it, I said, oh my God, this is really... Like they did a whole story about him. So it is course, sad. It's sad. So, I, I, I think I saw on this page this morning because mm -hmm. someone was trying to show me on the page where he talked about that the money given to him... Now, I, this is unverified. I still need to go on his page. You might go on his page. He's verified on Instagram. That's Abba Kiari, Talking about how the money wasn't paid to him. It was paid to somebody to buy clothes. To buy That's very funny. Outfits. You know, so, Nigerians, when we get caught or he gets in, uh, implicated in things, like that's what he means to say. If there was a snake that stole the money. No, but, or but, it's not but, a monkey. But, that, but, but, but this is my know? point. I think the president has to make sure that public office holders are uh, held, held accountable. accountable for their, Abba yes. Kiari should be held accountable. found guilty. The Minister of Youth and Sports should be held accountable. As a matter of fact, he should be tendering his resignation for having failed to represent, you know, youths in, in, in Tokyo Olympics that are just mm. is ongoing right now. 
10 athletes were disqualified and a lot more that has happened in the wake of Tokyo Olympics. These are people, the man in charge of the IOC, International Olympic uh, Federation or Commission, however it is in Nigeria, should also resign, do the honorable thing and leave office because you have failed. True, true. But let's know, just so these see, are the issues we're talking about. Let's see how this pans out. I mean, hoping that the suspension would not just be because they want to, but at the end of the day, due diligence is done because mm. it seems like, oh, this guy's image is really good, but then people are saying, his image is bad. But with the FBI under this, then it's a you bigger see, picture. Just before we move Chinke, on. Chinke, we need to move to our last train of story. Okay. I'm just saying, but let's, there's a bigger picture than we currently see. Mm. You know, I just hope all the players will be actively caught. And um, on to our last train of story. It's really sad one over the weekend, Rachel Oniga. In fact, hearing me say this, I'm like, Rachel Oniga passed away over the weekend. Prolific actress there are not many people who can interpret their character and this is one woman that is extremely she's been on the scene for the longest time since 1990 since, since i was young I, rachel oniga these are some people that i look out for my big screen rachel oniga Shola Wale, and they've been able to transition from even the yoruba movie industry to generally representing you know and it's just really sad she passed away um, it's sad. I saw. Really I sad. read a statement by the, she had complications the family. A heart, a heart, heart been. Some heart, people said um, COVID. No, no, it's heart because heart, the, the yes. son came out. To, um, he came out with a statement mm. saying, uh, debunking a rumor that uh, she died of COVID, but she's had a uh, heart-related disease been, for a very with. short time. You know, a very short space. Um, however, we're gonna miss. We're gonna miss her. We're gonna miss the. She's very unique. The vibrant. Even her name. Uh, you know, scenes that she brings to her yes. movies. I, I mean, remember, I remember her role in, uh, this um, Chief Daddy couple, or something. Was it Chief Daddy? Then yeah, the another Chief movie. Daddy. It was Chief Daddy, and then there's another one. There are lots of something, them. She's yes. done well. Yes. Um, and, you know, we're going to miss her. Definitely. It, miss it's her, a very um, tough time for entertainment because she's not the first person we're This year, too, we had Sound Soul Tan. Sound Soul Tan and uh, a couple other guys who, 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 you know, lost. Um, like I said, just continue to take care of yourself. Um, be responsible because the, at the end of the day, you're not just responsible to yourself, you're responsible mm. to others. You know, be responsible, take care of your health, exercise, eat healthy, sleep well, mm -hmm. rest. Particularly when you're advancing in age, yeah. when you get to that, you know, 40s, 50s, you need to slow down. You're not the superman or the superwoman that you think you are. You know, you need to slow down, you need to pay attention to what you eat now, pay attention to how you sleep. You know, just generally watchful just generally of your lifestyle and mindful of your lifestyle. Of your lifestyle, really. of your lifestyle. Yes. Blood pressure is mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Check your blood pressure. I'm not a medical doctor, but these are things I I, I, I try to practice a lot, you know, uh, because I mean, one, as one advances in age, you see that your body is no longer the same. Right. Right. And then with COVID, it, you know, it brings another dimension new dimension to the it. whole thing. And if you are, you know, still worried about COVID vaccine, they say 5 million doses have landed in Nigeria. I think they landed and, and yesterday. Yes. They arrived in Nigeria yesterday. Please mm. go and get vaccinated Please so that do. you don't give you people been COVID. Vaccinated? Yes. Okay. So that you don't. <laughs> but I can still be a carrier, however. You know, I, I, I've also been vaccinated. Yes, I've been vaccinated, but I can still give other people. If I get it, I might not fall ill or anything, but I can pass it on. Mm. So, but still get vaccinated because what the world is looking for is that herd immunity. When a larger so percentage of the people everyone. have been, you know, vaccinated, then it's is easier to now fight it and eradicate it from, All right. from I the, mean, the world. I mean, that's, so, yeah. that's it. We're still talking actively about ways to prevent what you can do on your part because it's not over. You need to just keep talking about it. We're going straight to our next um, line of conversation. I'm looking at the CBN ban on foreign. Um, um, I'm just thinking of the what that ban is. Border change. I know that. Yes, operators. BBC operators. BBC operators and how it affects general life. You see, I'm not an expert, businesses. but. We, we will talk about that. Mm -hmm. I have my own, you know, reservations. Um, reservations about the CBN policies. I'm not an economist. Trust me, by no means. I studied something else. <laughs> this, is, but, uh, this is something that David Ibabu, you, Ke, Ibabu Deke does effortlessly. Yeah, he's a business person. But, but, but person. It, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't also what? erode common sense. You mm -hmm. know, there are certain things that you look as a business person and you, know, you ask yourself, how is this policy going to trickle yeah. down to the common man? I'm sure there's a... Many more we're going to we're treat going today to on the show. Take, really. And also, we also have another level of discussion regards relationships. Spousal support. Should women pay spousal support for their husband? Let's take a break. We'll be right back.